Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use your keyboard as a mouse. So uh, it's going to be a very small video. There are a few settings which we have to do in order to start this function on our keyboard. So guys, before you move ahead, you guys have to make sure that the keyboard which you are using has the number keys on it because we will be using the number keys to move our cursor since we are not using mouse. I will be showing you guys how to get this setting done on uh, your computer using your keyboard. There's nothing much to do. There are just a few, uh, few settings which you guys need to do in your computer in order to you know make your keyboard work as a mouse. So yeah, without wasting any further ado, let's get started with the video. So what you guys can do is you guys you guys can just click on the windows icon on the keyboard which is right there at the extreme left hand bottom corner you can just click on this windows icon and you can type in c o n t r uh, that will bring control panel right there uh, you'll just have to press enter once you are in this you'll just have to use the arrow key if it works or else you can just ta uh, use the tab button uh, to you know highlight the uh, options I'm using the tab button multiple times to come to the ease of access and I'll press enter to come into the menu I'll then again use the uh, tab button to come to the option which says change how your mouse works I'll press enter and this is how it works I'm gonna then have to use the uh, tab button to come on the option which says turn on mouse key and I'll press the space bar to uncheck or check mark the box as you guys can see my camera is not able to focus on the option so I'm just pressing the space bar right here to check mark or and to check or uncheck this box once I check this box I can use the tab button to uh, come down at the bottom and uh, come to apply and I'll press the enter button to apply and I'll again uh, press uh, use the arrow key to navigate and I'll click on OK so first you have to come to this window search and you'll have to click here you'll have to type in control once you type in control you'll see this control panel right here press enter once you come to this page you will be not in this uh, you know view by option so I am by default in the option called categories so you will be in the option which says large icons all uh, or else small icons so you'll have to make sure you come to category and once you come to this category option or else view by category you'll have to come to this ease of access once you click here you will get this page now you'll have to click on this settings menu which says change how your mouse works you will have to click on it and once you are in this page you'll have to then tick mark this box which says turn on mouse keys and then you'll have to click on this hyperlink which says set up mouse keys now once you click on this you will get this page you'll first have to click on this which says turn on mouse keys this will be checkbox just click here and it will be check marked now you'll have to come down and click on this button which says turn on mouse keys with left alt plus left shift plus num lock this is a little bit confusing but don't get confused this option uh, this checkbox is just to activate the mouse features on your keyboard when you want to turn on the mouse feature on your keyboard you just have to double click on the num lock button to activate the mouse features on your keyboard so this box uh, you know will do that setting for you so you're gonna have to make sure you check mark this box and down here when it comes to pointer speed you have to make sure you increase it to high and also the acceleration should be on fast because you know you're gonna be using the keyboard and the cursors speed actually stays very slow if you you know don't make it higher and you'll then have to click on apply and then you'll have to click on OK that is it guys we are done with the settings for our keyboard now we'll have to close this page I'm going to switch my camera to my phone in order to show you guys how things work real time. Now guys, this is my computer, this is the monitor and this is the keyboard. As you guys can see, I've placed the mouse right here. It is connected to my computer. 
uh, I can show you guys by moving the mouse that it works uh, and I'm leaving the mouse as it is and uh, I'm using the keyboard so I'm gonna use the keyboard just to show you guys that it works fine if I press the 8 button the cursor will move up if I press the 2 button the cursor will move down uh, likewise if I press the number 7 button the cursor will go cross uh, in my case the uh, uh, 7 button is not working uh, but I can show you by pressing the number 3 button and the cursor will go cross guys my the 7 button in my keyboard is not working it is working yes the cursor will move cross towards the left and top and if I press the number 3 button the cursor will come down cross towards the down and the right button as well as you know likewise it will work the other ways if I click on the number 1 button and number 9 button uh, you know the cursor will move accordingly so the PC icon is not visible in the camera I'm gonna use the mouse to move the PC icon right here by using the number key I'll just have to bring my cursor on it and I'll have to just double click on 5 button to open it as you guys can see it's opened and if I wanna close this I'll just have to move my cursor on the uh, you know close uh, close icon I'll just have to bring my cursor on close and I'll just have to double click on a uh, single click on five button to close it as I use mouse for so this is closed again guys thanks a lot for joining this video I hope you guys liked this video guys my channel's name has been changed now it's Adam's tech guide so please do subscribe to it just click on the red subscribe button right below this video in order to subscribe to my channel please do not forget to click on the bell icon to get the regular updates about my new videos there will be lots of videos coming in the future and thanks a lot for joining me in this video i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace